Hello everybody! Welcome back to Hold Me Alaska. For this video, I'm going to be shooting portraits to compare two 75mm lenses, both from Samyang, and see what results we get. So, roll intro! These are the two lenses I'm going to be using for today's portrait shoot. So the first one right here is the Samyang AF 75mm f1.8. So this is part of Samyang's tiny series. Right now they have the 24, 35mm, 45 and 75mm. So they are designed to be small, portable and lightweight. So this is great if you have like a zoom lens and you want to prime but you don't want to have like a big prime lens so this is great for that this is amazing if you want to travel light as well and even if they're small the aperture is 1.8 and it also doesn't compromise on the image quality so that's really amazing the next lens we have right here is the Samyang VF 75mm T1.9 so this is part of Samyang's VF line so at the moment they have the 24 millimeter the 35 millimeter and the 75 millimeter as well and they've just announced they're going to release sometime this year 20 millimeter and 845 millimeter as well so this lens is designed more towards videography because it has a really long throw for manual focusing it also has two tunnel lights so one on this side right here which is also an indicator for you to mount the lens to the camera and one in the front so you can see whether you're recording or not and it's really helpful because right now I'm using the VF 35mm and I can see that I am recording this video right now so it's really good for me the difference as well is it has a accessory mount in the front which Samyang just announced what it is for the Fujifilm users Samyang just announced a 75mm f1.8 for the X mount which is much closer to the VF because they both have weather sealing which the tiny series doesn't have so I want to see how a video centric lens will compare to a photography centric lens when it comes to portrait shoots so let's go out and meet our model and start our shooting for this shoot we went to this beautiful historical town of Chester which is a great location for photos where I also met up with today's model Lydia I first started with the tiny 75mm f1.8 which is similar to one of my most favorite lenses the Samyang AF 85mm f1.4 Mark II I had a few test shots first to get used to the lens and also warm up my model and get both of us in the rhythm so far i am loving this lens for some reason it makes me think this is a 24 millimeter because of the size so i'm like oh i actually need to stand far away so now i've stand back i've also included the foreground as well to have some sort of subject separation kind of 3d effects if you will so right now it's very gloomy which is kind of perfect for this type of photo shoot because the sun is not like striking on your model they're not casting very harsh lights on and harsh shadows on our model which is really perfect to test out this lens but before we move to a different spot i'm going to use the day of 75 millimeter this time and see how it compares to this one. yes there we go she's doing it there we go So this is my first time shooting with both lenses in portraits and just by looking at the back of my camera I can already see some differences with them. So the tiny series 75mm f1.8 is more contrasty compared to the Bay f 75mm. So this one renders a little bit more matte, more flat image which is kind of understandable because this is designed more towards videography for people who are using logs and flat profiles. So yes. I'm going to change location now and go to the church, which is amazing. Let's go! On our way to the church, I spotted this pathway with a stunning arch, which is great to use for natural framing. So 
we stopped by and had a few shots. I've used the VAF 75mm T1.9 for this shoot. When you're shooting your model, you gotta have to see where they look best and tell them to keep doing that because it will make your photo look amazing as well. <sighs> okay, let's find the church now and pray for our sins. Just kidding. <laughs> As you can see, the difference with the VAF to the Tiny Series is that the VAF cannot take a lens suit because as you can see, it has an accessory mount right here which Samyang announced one of them already. Um, this one also has a weather ceiling which in comparison to the Tiny Series, it doesn't have and this is much closer to the one they've just released which is the one for Fuji X that also has a weather ceiling. So I think this one and the Fuji X is much closer together than the Tiny Series but because of that, this is much bigger than the Tiny Series one but that's okay because of the weather ceiling. In the church grounds, there are several benches around and I chose this particular one just in front of this door and above it a beautiful stained glass. I thought this would be the perfect spot to compare both lenses. As I mentioned earlier, the Tiny Series has more contrast compared to the VAF and I'm using auto white balance. <laughs> So both of them has a little bit different in colors. So the Science Series is leaning more towards on the warmer side, the VF more cooler tone. But when videographers are doing videos, obviously you are shooting in fixed white balance and all the VF lenses have the same color rendition. So if you just set one white balance, you can switch all of them VF lenses and it's still going to be the same. So you won't have any problem with that. For the last part of this comparison, I'm now going to do a close-up so we can see the sharpness of both lenses and for this one, I'm going to stop down as well. So first, I'm going to shoot at f1.8, then I'm going to go to 2.8 and then f4 and then see what we get. Both lenses are having quite good minimum focusing distance, which is great if you want to shoot tight headshots. As optically, they are identical, so changing the lenses should not make any difference. But to ensure that I shoot from the same distance, I use the scientific method to evaluate the correct distance. So this is the end of our portrait shoot. If you want to follow on Instagram, what's your Instagram? Lydia Grace underscore 09. There you go. We're going to put it somewhere on the screen. Please give her a follow. Now I'm going to go home and compare the images on my computer. Let's go. As you can see, the end result is almost identical. I mean, there's just very, very little difference when it comes to color, but you can fix that in post-process anyway. But to be honest, without the EXIF, I won't be able to tell the difference myself. So that's how similar they both are. So when it comes to AF, it's the same. The minimum focusing distance is also the same and the sharpness is also the same. So which one to get? It's really up to you. So if you want a much more compact, smaller, lightweight lens and a little bit more cheaper that you use for photography and occasional videography as well. I think the Tiny Series 75mm will be a good fit for you. And by the way, all the Tiny Series lenses comes with a nice care case like this one. So it's pretty strong and keeps your lens safe as well. So if you're more of a hybrid shooter and you want a system that is more unified, then I think the VAF line will be a perfect fit for you. If you don't mind the extra price and the extra weight as well, I mean, there's not much difference in weight really because the Tiny Series is 230 grams. This is 280 grams, so that's not much difference. But with that, you get a weather ceiling and the VAF features as well. So if you want to see more comparison between the Tiny Series and the VAF Series, then hit the subscribe button because we're also going to compare the 24mm and the 35mm as well. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.